Today I'm going to be celebrating reaching 100,000 subscribers by making 3D play buttons in Adobe Illustrator. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, aka Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique logos, make art, make digital art, all that. So if that's something you're into, then go ahead and subscribe. I have always loved the aesthetic of the play button, and I can't wait for mine to get here in the mail. But in the meantime, I decided to create my own using the new 3D and materials tools in Adobe Illustrator. So in order for this to work, you actually have to recreate whatever object you're trying to make in 3D in 2D by creating different vectors out of the shape tool, the pen tool, or just turning whatever thing you're making into a vector. So I went ahead and recreated the shapes of the play button, made them the colors, and then added the text that says 100,000. I experimented with a couple different fonts before I found this one that I really liked, and I grouped it all together, which is a really important step for making it look 3D. So you start by opening the 3D and materials panel in Illustrator and hitting inflate. I always make sure to check off this inflate on both sides button, and basically that makes it so that none of the sides are flat. Then you can play around with the placement, the depth, the volume, the different materials, the roughness, lighting, a lot of different things. Later on, I'm gonna be getting a lot more experimental with like the colors and materials, but for this one, I just wanted to get a test base one. It's also important that whenever you're just kind of playing around with it to get the kind of feel that you want, to have this ray tracing button turned off. Basically, that's gonna make it so that you're working with a smaller rendered object and not take us forever to load when you're changing it. Then when you're done, you can turn ray tracing on and you can render it in full for the final result. For this second one, I wanted to make it a bit bubblier and more fun colors. So I decided to go with this bright purple and green. I found this fun slider that actually changes the perspective of the 3D object. And I feel like it made this one especially cartoony and I really like how it came out. Also apologies, somehow I was filming this on a live stream and my whole thing got moved over and the chat is kind of in the way. But this is a good reminder that I go live every Wednesday and you can actually use the chat to kind of tell me what I'm making. So it's a good opportunity to have your voice in the next video. So for this one, I definitely wanted to play around with the different materials and I found this wood grain one. One thing I did notice is when you add these materials though, it doesn't take into account the colors that you picked. So even if you have different colors, they are all gonna be in that same wood grain. I made this one really long based on someone's suggestion and I think it looks really funny, but also kind of chic. Next, I decided to make a rose gold one. I saw on the materials tab that there was this option to have it look like gold. And then as I was scrolling down, you can actually change the color of the gold. So I made it more pinky and it came this rose gold effect. Next, I just wanted to find some of the weirdest materials in there and I found this marbleized paint one. Unfortunately, um, you can change the colors, but they kind of all get a little bit muddy at the end, I guess, depending on which colors you pair with other colors. So I don't love this one as much because it did end up kind of being a muddy mess, but the materials is pretty cool to use. I could see it working really well on like a sphere or something like that. Next, I decided to do a pride flag. So I actually just found one on Google and manipulated it so that it was the right sizing. And I turned that into a vector using the image trace panel. This one actually ended up being a sleeper hit, I think. I wasn't sure how it would look because all the different sizes of the rectangles and the play button and the 100,000, but it ended up really looking like, I know we say it all the time on this channel, but it looks like a pool float. This one ended up being one of my favorites of the day. I wanted to play around even more with the different materials and that perspective tool. And I saw this snakeskin one. And as soon as I changed it to this, I fell in love. It looks like an expensive luxury bag or something like that. And of all of them, this is the one that I really want to just like feel in real life and like touch it. Lastly, I wanted to make a more silvery one after I realized there were some silver materials in the panel. So I added this kind of diamond plate effect to this one. I don't know if anyone else would get this reference, but basically my grandpa has like one of those external toolboxes on his pickup truck and it looks like that exact material. I really like how shiny this one turned out. Well, that is it for these 3D play buttons. I feel like my faves are definitely the rainbow one, the purple one, and the snakeskin one. But let me know down in the comments which one's yours. And at the end of the day, I really just want mine to come in the mail though. What if I just... Oh my gosh! No, in all seriousness though, I really just do wanna thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel. I never expected to see this much growth so quickly, and I'm just super grateful for each and every one of you, and I can't wait to see where things go in the future. I also can't wait to hang this on the wall in my new studio. We are actually moving into a bigger space, so look out for that in a following video. But if you enjoyed this one, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.